So today we're gonna do a little travel vlog. We're going to Rhode Island and we're gonna go visit a friend and just kind of get out of the city for the weekend. I'm really excited and take you guys with me. So before we left, I made ourselves a little bit of a power breakfast. I just wanted to clean out what we had in the fridge. So we had some kale and some mushrooms. So I put a little cheese on there. And then I made a green smoothie with cucumbers and honeydew and ginger. I just wanted to get everything out of the fridge so that nothing went bad. And then we were finally able to hit the road. Traffic is really good. We don't have any. We're just kind of cruising along. GPS says it's going to take three and a half hours. We have our snacks in the back. All right, we're at some mall in Connecticut. I'm going to Target because there's a Starbucks. So we found this thing at Target and it's just like it's so funny. I don't know whether to laugh or cry or to buy one or to not buy one. How much is it? Of course they have like the cutest swimsuits and a lot of like maternity stuff and just cute clothes, so I'm probably going to try some stuff on and maybe buy a few things, I don't know. And I'm trying not to buy like too much stuff these days, but I really don't have a lot of clothes right now, so I'll try some stuff on. In the end, I decided to get this really cute sun hat and this nice plain gray dress. I also did a poll on my Instagram and this was quite the hot button issue. Uh, we're here at the beach, just taking a little walk. And it's really nice. Summer's just sort of starting to get going here. So I think we're gonna go for a little walk and then we're gonna grab some food, so. There were a lot of boats on the beach because they were having an event and there were a lot of families there just sort of enjoying the beach and there was a playground just a really nice cute park so today we're gonna go to newport one thing is i forgot my sunscreen so i'm just making sure i have plenty of foundation on it's only spf 15 but better than nothing one of the reasons I decided to start doing some vlogs is because I wanted to show some sewing stuff and a little bit about my life. It's different from the tie-dye tutorials, but I figured, you know, not everyone's into vlogs, but some people might be into the vlogs. So if people don't want to watch the vlogs, they don't have to, but they can still watch my tutorials. Let me know down in the comments if you guys watch, um, other vloggers on YouTube. I watch vlogs all the time. And what kind of vlogs you like to watch, who you guys like to watch, and why you like to watch them. I feel like every vlog is like a little different and gives you like a different sort of vibe. I got this one at the drugstore and it's like really not that expensive. I just got it because I thought the color was pretty nice and um, I was looking for something that wouldn't like get on my mask. It's not like a hundred percent, but it does a pretty good job of staying on your lips. Like even if you have to put your mask on to go inside someplace. So I like that. I went to bed with it wet. So it's like a little bit, well, it looks kind of good there. <laughs> Here's the hat I got yesterday at Target by Shade and Shore. And I've always wanted one of these ones where you can like have your head out <laughs> and uh, it rolls up so you can take it with you like easily when you go on vacation. Cause I, I actually, I love hats. I'm a total hat person. I have a lot of visors too that I like to wear. When it's sunny, it's like, you know, protects your face from the sun. And uh, they always kind of get messed up when you travel, but this one you can roll up. So I'm really excited about it, and uh, I just think it's kind of cute. So I did a poll on my Instagram asking, like, do you think I should get this? <laughs> and I posted like kind of a ridiculous photo of myself with it. The majority of people said yes, so I had to get it. <laughs> So we're 
we're just at the gas station filling up. I was just telling Gabe every day I wake up and some days I feel like my belly gets bigger in like weird jumps. So today I woke up and I feel like my belly just got like bigger. It's like really, no, you can't see really. It's like really starting to happen. I'm feeling very pregnant today. So this morning our plan was to drive out to a state park called Beaver Tail State Park and it was just quintessential New England. It was so pretty. There were all these cliffs and rocks and the waves were crashing onto the rocks and it just was so beautiful. It was really chilly for uh, June and you could see there's a lighthouse there and it was just was such a beautiful scene. It wasn't too crowded and it really was the perfect picture taking opportunity. I've been trying to take more photos since last year. I feel like I didn't take any pictures and it's so sad. I wanna to try to get as many pictures as I can, especially before the baby comes. There was this cute little pathway that went down to the beach and you could walk around on the rocks. I didn't walk around on the rocks too much because I didn't want to fall, but it was a really beautiful view and really quintessential Rhode Island. Next we headed to Newport and we took this big bridge. Here is the yacht club and the little marina at Newport where you can walk around and eat and shop. I saw this really pretty idea where it was a white dress printed with blue wildflowers on the bottom and I think it's really pretty. I think I might try to recreate something similar to this look. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a tutorial on that. So we got a chance to just walk around on the yacht club and look at all the different boats. I love looking at boats and we had perfect weather so the place was pretty hopping and it seemed like quite the place to be. We got a coffee and a little bite to eat and just kept strolling around town. Finally, we decided to go to this candy shop and ice cream shop called Kilwins, where you can get fudge and candied apples and all kinds of delicious handmade chocolate type of things. I ended up getting some double dark fudge, a couple of caramels, and a homemade peanut butter cup for the road, and they were really good. Okay, so we're almost at the end of this trip, and um, we're in New Jersey, we're back in New Jersey, and we stopped at Ikea for lunch. Um, because there was one right by the Watch highway. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. Oops. <laughs> there was one right by the highway, so we just got some meatballs really quick. We're just finishing up the trip, and uh, it was really nice to visit Rhode Island. Never been there before. It's really pretty, and it's a great place to go, especially in the summer. It's nice and like beachy. So anyway, Sunday night. Tomorrow is a new week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. You can go and follow me on my social medias at Onyx Art Studios and check out my online dyeing classes at onyxartstudios.com. Be sure to sign up for my mailing list so you never miss a new class or a new date. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and you can check out these other videos which are similar. And be sure to check out my channel for all of my tutorials. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!